Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Green here and this is huge. We got the update and it's a lot of stuff. They just marketed it like we got Martian Manhunter, then they said something about artifact reforce changes in the notes and now we get this. So let's get into it step by step. First of all, let's get into a store. You'll notice over here into a store, a new chest. This is going to be artifact material and reforce chest. This is going to have chances for Azure Artifact Materials, Apocalypse Artifact Materials, and at the same time it will have a chance for Artifact Reforges. Those Artifact Reforges you are going to use to change the bonuses on your Artifacts. And we'll talk about the bonus on the, of the Artifacts later, but just taking a look at it, you got pretty low odds to get Artifact Reforges it seems, so optimizing the Artifacts and having the perfect Artifacts with the perfect bonuses is going to take a lot of time it seems. But there's a lot to take in when it comes to that. We'll, we'll come back to that later. Maybe we'll open some even. And other than that, nothing changed here. Now let's get to, go to special offers. In the special offers, you'll see something that they added. This is going to be the free daily pack. And uh, this is crap. This is one of the things with this uh, update that's crap. Like, it's going to be additional free stuff every day. So I can't really complain about it. But bro, five power gems, 50 gear materials. Are you kidding me? Let's see, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. Two sims. Okay, okay. Thank you for the two sims. Now they added the thing that uh, is in a lot of games. And I was actually asking for this because this is a good way to monetize themselves. This is uh, an offer uh, that you are going to watch a video or complete a certain offer. And you're going to get an amount of gems. Uh, and in terms of those offers, those are going to be... Uh, uh, stuff like uh, playing our games uh, and uh, earning rewards in those games and them getting back to into here and I mean you don't have to do this but uh, if uh, you want to this is going to be a pretty good way to earn some gems and it's going to benefit the developers uh, without you having to spend money directly and th that's good that's good, I don't mind that, I certainly don't mind that, I think this is a fair system. Next up is going to be the watch video for 5 gems, I think the amount of 5 gems is a little bit low, so maybe tone that up a little bit, but with the uh, with this thing I'm very very happy about, because they're simply going to be able to uh, uh, get uh, some gems by playing other games, and that's a very good monetization tactic. Now, let's get into the meat of this. So... First of all, we're not going to take a look at the Manhunter, I'm going to do a separate video for that one, but this is a very interesting thing. You can see that now every single legendary character is going to be able to be unlocked at 3 stars. And this is, this is good, this is simply good, like you, you can't put uh, uh, a bad thing about this. Uh, you're simply going to be able to unlock your legendary characters faster. Now Darkseid unlocks at 3 stars, now uh, uh, Batman Jagorla Grodd unlocks at 3 stars. The only thing it will be maybe uh, how I hope they don't decrease the shard amount that drops from uh, the uh, legendary chests. So they don't decrease it to 200 because previously you could get Darkseid, Dark Knight, Dead and all the way at 4 stars. I just hope it remains the same in terms of that. But yeah, we're going to be able to unlock characters for less shards and let's unlock Brainiac over here, why not? Let's go at it. We got Brainiac unlocked with uh, 350 shards for him. And uh, I would have spent much more time to unlock him. Well, he's more or less useless to me at this point because I don't have yet Black Manta. But nevertheless, I'm happy the option is here to unlock him and I can start kind of working on him preemptively on his talents. That's very good. Now let's really get into the meat of this update. First of all, getting into a character. We're going to have some gears over here. You're going to see that it looks a little bit different. We, we go on details and each gear now has its own screen. It's going to say uh, if you got a high roll or a low roll on a gear. At the very least, that's how we used to call them. I think from now on we're going to call them uh, rare and common ones. And uh, the rare one is going to be a higher value, the common one is going to be a lower value. Uh, you can see over here that they have all rare on Confluent Sacrament. Now let's move on to a ca another character. I think on uh, Black Adam, I, uh, nah, let's go with Multiverse Armor Supergirl because that's going to be uh, easier to notice. Uh, on Helmet I got all rare ones, excuse me, I'm not, I'm not myself very used to this interface. But over here, yeah, I got two common attacks and one rare attack. This is a very good uh, thing that they added and the thing that's amazing is the fact that it, it's so good that uh, I am amazed of the fact that this was not implemented before. 
this thing. Congratulations. Now you've locked this gear. You cannot shatter this gear by mistake. You cannot shatter this gear when you mass shatter or gears. And this is going to be particularly useful for the people that use two gear sets on a certain character. And you can lock your gears and you're going to be damn sure that this gear ain't getting shattered. And I suggest that you do this with all your important gears and all your upgrade gears on all the characters. And this is a quality of life feature that we should have had since day one. But nevertheless, uh, I'm not sure how to feel about the fact that uh, this thing gets a whole interface. Like it's doing the same things that it did before, just it looks cooler, but at the price of having a separate interface. Because before you just get the pop-up screen and that would be easier to navigate. But yeah, I, I guess it's more smooth like this. I guess you can focus on one gear at a time. Now, let's get into uh, the actual uh, things that they got new over here. Getting into Kiln Flan Sakum, and you can see I have some artifacts on this account, right? Now we can go on to details of the artifacts. What is this? We got ourselves some bonuses on the artifacts. And it looks like there are a lot of kinds of bonuses. Bonus damage on your special attacks. Damn, Silver Bench is going to love some bonus, at the, some bonus attack on the special tree. Dot resistance. Uh, and you're going to unlock those uh, uh, chance effects as you level up your artifact. The higher the level artifact is, the higher le the more you are unlocked. Let's take a look at Claws of Force. I got it at level 9, right? And I need uh, uh, to, unlock, uh, to unlock another one, I need to get it to level 10. This one has little attack damage. I've never seen that bonus before. It's a new one. Little attack damage. This might be huge in terms of builds, and I'm not sure if they implemented little attack damage on the gears as well. It might be, it might not be, I'm not sure yet. But you can get little attack damage over here on health. Let's take a look at other artifacts. Oh, I equipped that again. I'm, I'm such a boomer with this interface. Let's look at an art artifact that is high enough level to have some bonuses. You can see if I click this, this is level 2, right? But it does not have any unlock, because you're going to start to unlock them all the way from level 3. Okay, now let's take a look at my fire box. The fire box has a crap one in my opinion. Like, it says it's an epic one. Like, I guess it's gotta be good. And maybe it's actually good, but I'm just slipping on it. But uh, I would have rather had something else other than the power generation. But for the time being, I might leave it there. It might prove out that uh, this was actually uh, a pretty good one. Let's take a look. The old place we already took a look at. Excuse me. What else? Uh, the amulet of metahuman, I got, uh, this is going to give me additional dot damage, so that's also a possibility. This one is going to give me 2% uh, power generation. So yeah, uh, it, it's not, the power generation that I got previously is not necessarily a very good bonus, it's just a high roll of the bonus, and since this is 2% and the other one was 8%, we might have a middle ground between them, like a rare one and an epic one like we got with the talents. And yeah, when it comes to this, this is going to take a lot of time to perfect. You are most likely going to need multiple artifacts for multiple character builds. Now, most of the character builds will need their specific artifact with their specific bonuses. Like I imagine, for example, if you're going to use Claws of Horus on uh, Black Manta, uh, since now we get little attack damage and he gets that little attack chance from Brainiac, you might want to put little attack damage on your Claws of Horus when you equip it on Brainiac. But yeah, this upgrade is uh, this this uh, update is overall very overwhelming. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and open some chests. It might go on sale, so I don't really recommend you do this. It might go on sale, okay? You might get a far better deal. Uh, we might get some pretty good Halloween deals. But I'm going to buy it nevertheless and get myself some materials. Because uh, after all, I need some materials in order to upgrade my Apocalypse Artifacts too. Let's see what we get. Hopefully some Reforges. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, that's a bad one. Another terrible one. That's a good one. I, I like I like that amount of meatballs. That's a terrible one again. Terrible. Meatballs, though not a huge amount. A uh, small amount of meatballs. Good amount of meatballs. I like that amount of meatballs. Terrible. You got 10 reforges, boys! We got 10 artifact reforges. Let's go use them, shall we? Uh, full disclaimer, 
I have no idea what I'm doing right now since this system has just been implemented and the uh, responsible thing to do was to would be to wait out for the community to find out some uh, uh, best strategies to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. First of all, do we have enough to upgrade the firebox to level 5? I don't think we do, I don't think we do. Okay, so upgrade. We do have enough to upgrade the firebox to level 5, yes! Yes, level 5 firebox, let's go! We got our firebox to level 5. And actually, I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, roll some of the bonuses on the firebox. Because in terms of normal rates, Yes, it will benefit me to roll some normal artifacts in terms of normal rates, but in terms of sword rates, the uh, sword rate artifacts are going to be the go-to. So I think the best bet is to get something very good on the firebox, though at the same time I already have an epic one on the firebox. So I'm not 100% sure about this. Let's do it once and see what happens. We got the common attack. That attack is a pretty damn low value. I don't like that value of attack. We're going to keep current, because when you look at the firebox overall, it's going to give us 13 million attack. I don't care about 70 attack on a firebox. I don't. I just don't. I'm sorry. Damage for special 2. We don't have any characters that use firebox on that deal their main amount of damage with the special 2, so we are going to keep current. Damn, that, that's a good way to waste uh, some of the reforges. Little attack chance. Might be better than the power generation, but we're going to keep for time being the power generation because it's epic. Damage on special tree, this one I do like. I'm going to swap to the damage on special tree. Even though it's a common one, hopefully we get an epic one, but I'm going to keep this one for now. Damage on special two, we don't care about that one. Let's, we, we had 10. Let's go back to the old blades. Let's go to the old blades and roll some on the old blades as well. Because we, we are going to all also do normal raids, I guess. Damage on special one, damage on special two, I don't really care. Like some, it's damage though. So let's roll this one, as actually. Little attack chance. Well, I'm going to take it. Like, you might look at this and say I'm stupid. Because this is resistance. This is a rare resistance one. But at the same time, the old blades is going to be for damage. So I don't need that resistance on old blades. Let's try one more. Though, I'll leave the little for now. Let's roll with the special two, I guess. Additional dot damage. Do I want this? No, I don't think I want this. Let's roll the lethal. Damage on special one. Bro, this is hard and you have such a limited amount. Like, let, let's let's go with damage on special one. Like, sometimes you use the special one, I guess. Let's try and roll one of the damage on special one. Additional health. It's going to be still a common one, so we'll not take it. We, we just need damage on the old blades. Yeah, let's let's actually get the rare power generation, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? But yeah, this was everything for this video. I just waited to uh, wasted 4k gems, but at the very least I got my firebox all the way to level 5, rolled some bonuses, we had some fun. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.